also got a gray strap. Hi again. It's quieter now, so I thought I will continue what, is, what I was saying just now. So last night, my husband and I, we went to Light Tonight Festival. And if you're in Singapore, you would know what Light Tonight Festival uh, is about. It is a festival organized by National Gallery Singapore. And it's an annual festival. I was talking to my colleague last night and I realized that uh, Night to Night Festival has been going on for about seven to eight years now. So that's crazy. That's just crazy how time flies by. So I went last night to support my colleague. Hoo hoo, if you're watching. All the best for the rest of the month, my girl. I visited the art. Uh, and craft market slash food market opposite Victoria Concert Hall and I found an artist that I am in love with uh, I'll leave the handle here a genius absolute genius because their art mainly centers around a black cat and you find this black cat in a different kind of scenario, situation, surroundings, environment, characters, and yeah, I went nuts. Uh, I wish I, I, I could buy more. I definitely could buy more, uh, but I decided to hold back and maybe check out their online store and see what else they have. This art print of a black cat with plants, because cats and plants important topics critical topics you need to paint them cats and plants i bought a mobile charm yeah. and i bought like about i think six stickers i think they're taking a break i'm oh, good <laughs> i think they're taking a break so i'm just gonna quickly um say this one last piece. I got this cute little artist sticker. Uh, it's a holographic artist sticker. Please check them out. All their artworks are so nice. I bought the A5. Uh, the A5 version. Uh, and I bought it in green and then a pink uh, A6 pouch. This is my baby's journal and it definitely can fit in this bag. I have my weekly. Let me see if this can fit in the A6. Uh, perfect. It fits. This fits as well. Uh, it is around the same size. This is a Hobonichi notebook. I haven't filled up yet. This is my Midori. I reused a cover from an old planner that I bought in 2020. Um, I don't know why I actually bought a planner in 2020. Uh, I guess nobody knows why they bought a planner in 2020. Nobody expected anything uh, bad to happen in 2020. So anyway, so this is the planner. I've already completed my January monthly setup. I will do my February at the end of the month. Uh, the last one that I have is not a journaling, uh, how do you say? easy sketchbook i have uh, i have two copies of these sketchbooks for many many years now i think since 2018 i've never really used them so i used them recently and uh, i documented it in my shorts um yeah i love it i even though you know like when i use marker it bleeds but i love the size and i love that it's you know very secured and compact and put together. I will definitely use uh, the A5 bag for this uh, and it can fit both in it so I think that's perfect. Camera. But my baby is sleeping so time is of essence right now. Uh, I am going to take out my stickers. Actually do I even need stickers? Never mind. I'm just going to put this here. Uh, 
pens. The one that I use mainly for journaling. As a side note, I don't know if I will ever ever re remove this schedule. It's so sentimental to me. This is the week. This was the weekly schedule that I set for myself uh, during uh, the week before my son was supposed to be born, which is on the 10th of November. I have a copy of it through this video, so maybe I. <sighs> will document erasing this for the next studio vlog who knows who knows let's unpack i'm feeling very very bothered by the clutter of books so i am going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring um a trolley here i have a trolley at the side of this other table uh, where i put all my books I just want to say to all of you who are very much interested in keeping plants, you are genuine in wanting to keep plants, you have a good heart in wanting to keep them alive, but they choose to die, you are not your plants. Day because I'm wearing a different outfit. I've decided to just spend the rest of the day of yesterday with my son uh, after he woke up and also because he refused to sleep. So let's continue the setup of my Delphonic spec. So if you notice, they are um, categorized between a regular ballpoint pens. I also have a fountain pen in um, in these ones, a couple of fountain pens in this one. Uh, these are more like marker based uh, pens. So um, this click art marker pen by Zebra is really really good. So I got the Sakura Micron pens as well as uh, the ones by Artline. So by Artline and Copic. These are the stickers that I have. So I have my I have my own stickers, the E5 sheets, and these are really really uh, wonderful for planning. I love using them for my planners. Uh, if you you know wish to have a copy of yours, they are available and on sale in my online shop. These are also mine. So these are the mood uh, froggles, and I haven't used them yet, but. I think these are perfect for bullet journaling. I also have stickers that I got from Daiso. Uh, Daiso really really upped their game with stickers recently. So um, I have a lot of planning stickers. This um, series of uh, colored stickers by Midori. They have a uh, different colored version. So I got the red or slash strawberry one. And I got these plants. Uh, uh, stickers simply because they're just so elegant. I also have uh, sticker sheets that I don't even use at all. So like these ones I got also from Think Bookshop. I was a patron of Love Soap so she makes wonderful beautiful uh, sticker sheets for her patrons so I've been collecting them and I haven't used them at all. And uh, these stickers I got when I went to Curbside Crafters. These are from uh, Trick um, these are from Rolled Round, I think. And these are my anime, my anime stickers. I love my anime stickers. These are high cute ones. Uh, these two are from Mochi Gardens, and Mochi Gardens create stickers uh, just for journaling. And I also have specific stickers for scheduling. I will be 
setting up the A5 bag. First off, I will use this pen. This is the Pilot Juice Up uh, pen in the 0.3 size nib. And they are really, really good for the monthly pages because your monthly pages, you know, sometimes the square is just not, not very big. I also have uh, the Friction uh, pen and these are in the 0.4 size nibs. These are the three uh, so-called primary pens that I use for my monthly spreads and for my weekly spread I love using this uh, Zebra Sarasa clip pens and I bought a set from Tokyo Hens uh, last year and they come in these colors but usually I like to use the warm colors more so I will have these I will put uh, I think I will use the purple and the bronze. So these are the two colors that I use uh, more often. Another pen that I really like to use for my uh, monthly spread is these uh, uni style uh, fit pens. These are also in the 0.38. So I got these in Tokyo in uh, July last year when I went. And these are the special Bungo Stray Dogs collaboration. And this is the Armed Detective Agency design. The pens are all set. I think I will go with these. I will go with more of the yellows and the pinks for my February slash March spreads. So another pen that I like to use for sketching is this marker by Moji. I will include a Copic pen. I think that will be it. So these are my go-to stickers. I have I have three of these. Uh, I really want to try this transfer sticker. They're a bit troublesome to use because I have to cut them out and then transfer them on the pages or on the spread. So I think for February I'm going to try to use one of you know one of the designs. And then of course these are my go-to spread my go-to stickers for every spread now and I want I plan to finish them because it's February and typically when you think about February you think about Valentine's Day so these are perfect color combination for February. These stickers by Midori are more like those you know like motivational uh, stickers so these are very very apt for Omebuchi planning. I think I should break into my love soup sticker sheets. These are great for March spread. So I'm just gonna put this here. And I will put two of my Mood Frogo sticker sheets in there as well. These oh, so I bought these from Daiso and I really want to use them up. So I'm just gonna put this in here too. This is another sticker sheet that I got from Daiso which is really cute. Uh, yeah, I'm, again, I'm not precious about Daiso stickers so I should use them up. And that's it. That is how I set up my A5. It's not that much because they really don't like to put too many things uh, in my, you know, to, have, to make it look too cluttered. So I have these two, like I said, I have my Midori uh, planner and I'll uh, just show you my January spread. So this is my January spread. It's already almost completed. I just need to fill up the rest of the last week of January. My am going planning and to be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out what my planning looks like for Omepochi Studio. So yeah, it's very very like boring. The spread doesn't look very interesting at the moment but I want to redeem myself for February. Washi tapes that I really like to use the mood tape. These are from Small Art. I have two yellow base tapes here and a white one. So I'm just gonna even out the color scheme here and go with a green coffee tape. I'm just gonna put my washi tapes side and I'm gonna put on the front. Place a love soap sticker on the front page. 
Uh, this is the sticker that I designed for the year of the tiger, I think. And my son is born in. And my son is. So uh, he's born in the year of the tiger. And I thought it'd be, you know, very appropriate that we have Peppa on the tiger. I actually forgot a key element to the Delphonic bags, which are pins. I have this bag here that I put all my pins. So these are the Totoro pins that I have. I have the Neko Bus. I have Totoro Flying. Oh, my friend also bought me a Sukuna pin. It's by the Atlas Studio. I'll be using my own keychain on one of the bags. So I think I will use these for the A6 pouch. The colors uh, go well together. So I think you can see the Totoro friends better on this uh, A5 pouch. You know what? I'm going to make pins. I am going to design pins just so that I can use my own designs for my pouches. Okay, so let's remove the plastic. Here, you can see the holographic uh, situation much better without the plastic. There you go, it's all set up.